Yes, the present situation in Manipur is one of the worst situations. And the, uh, it's very difficult to measure the magnitudes of the violence here in Manipur. And uh, the recent attacks starting since uh, 1st September, it's a totally changed. And it's a very, uh, what to say, is using sophisticated weapons and using high-tech uh, drones bombing and also these uh, uh, R RPGs. No, this is all about these the high sophisticated uh, weaponry used in the civilians. So in these uh, zensers, uh, there is nothing to control by the state governments. Uh, so to say, the power of the state is totally seized by the central government. The state government cannot move here and there to control the situations, and there is no power at all. And uh, shortly we can say that it is uh, the, the power is controlled by the central government, and the uh, more or less the same that it is uh, just like enforcement of the Article 355. Uh, that's why this, there is no power of the chief ministers at present. And the latest development since yesterday till uh, now that these honorable chief ministers and his council of ministers along with the uh, ruling MLS, made the Honorable Governor. So it's something like this the drama that is uh, maybe these from the reliable source that these, uh, the Council of Ministers uh, headed by the Honorable Chief Ministers demanding restoration of the unified command or so. So uh, that is why the a role of the central government is very difficult to understand. And also, central government doesn't want to uh, end the violence here in Manipur. I don't know why. All the people, the entire uh, people of Manipur ask these questions. And from my side also, ask to the central government, why the central government doesn't want to uh, and this uh, to stop this uh, war in Manipur.